everyone. This is a great Easter dessert. It's called Easter cookie pizza. The crust of the pizza is essentially one giant cookie. You can use whatever cookie recipe you want in this. However, I'm going to be showing you my tried and true oatmeal cookie recipe that I have been making for years and years. This recipe makes a ton of cookies, makes several dozen cookies. So if you just want to make one pizza, I suggest you cut this recipe in half. In that bowl is one cup of softened butter. Gonna add to that one cup of vegetable shortening. If you can't find that where you live, you can use all butter, but the cookies will be very different. They will be thinner, crispier, and they will spread quite a bit. So blend the shortening and butter together with an electric mixer or by hand. And then to that, we're gonna add some sugar. One cup of white sugar and one cup of brown sugar. Then blend that again until the mixture is light and fluffy. Once that's done, add two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla that I don't show here for some reason and blend that together. For the dry ingredients, you're going to combine two cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. If you use unsalted butter, add the salt. If you use salted butter, then omit the salt. And you're going to blend in the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients a little bit at a time until it's all combined. And once that's done, you can add two and one half cups of quick cooking oats or large flake oats. And those you probably have to stir in with a spoon because it's going to be very thick. And that's your completed cookie dough. Once that's all combined, it's time to put it on a pizza pan. I greased the pizza pan lightly with some cooking spray. Then I took half of that cookie dough mixture and I spread it on the pizza pan. I used a spatula and I also used my fingers just to try to get it evenly distributed on the pizza pan. And I also took a spatula to flatten it a little bit before putting it in the oven. You're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes until it is kind of like golden brown all over. Now just to show you what I did with the second half of that cookie dough, I added about a cup of raisins and I made regular cookies with them and I put them in the freezer for dessert at a later time. You can also use chocolate chips for these. Sometimes I will make half chocolate chip for Max and half raisin for my husband. So there is that cookie crust that's out of the oven. If you'll notice, one of the edges just kind of looks like it's broken. Well, what happened was because I spread that cookie dough right to the edge of the pan, when I baked it, that giant cookie spread and some of the cookie crusts along the edge fell right off into the bottom of the oven. So learn by my mistake. And then when you make this, make, don't spread your cookie dough right to the edge of the pan. Leave a good half inch all the way around and it'll allow your giant cookie to spread a little bit without it breaking. Now I'm adding about 10 ounces or so of miniature marshmallows, about a, almost an entire regular size package. You can put as many or as few as you'd like on this, of course. And you can also use those colored marshmallows. I think those would have been cuter on this. Then you're going to put this back in the oven at 350 degrees for about five minutes or so. Keep an eye on it. You want those marshmallows to get nice and puffy and to just to start to brown just a tiny bit along the edges. Now, while the marshmallows are still hot and melted, you can add the rest of the toppings. Now, this part is completely up to you, of course. I added some little candy Easter eggs. I added some Easter candy corn and some sprinkles. And all you have to remember here is to just kind of press them into the marshmallows so that they stick. So when you cut your pizza, you don't have candies falling off and flying all over the place. Then let it cool completely and then you can slice it up. I did try a pizza cutter on this to try to cut it up, but I found that the pizza cutter uh, was sticking to the marshmallows. And as you were rolling the pizza cutter, the marshmallows were peeling off the cookie crust. So I found the best thing to use to cut this up would be just a plain old serrated knife. And then you cut it into triangle shapes like you would any pizza. I would suggest that this pizza would probably make enough for about 20 to 25 servings because you're going to be slicing them really small because it is cookie and candy and that's, that's a lot to eat if you have a traditional size pizza slice. These are actually quite large pieces that I show you here just for the photographs. It's quite good. I mean, the, the marshmallows and cookie go very well together. The only thing I would suggest is maybe you use a sugar cookie recipe for the crust as my oatmeal cookie recipe is very tender and it is not a really crispy cookie. So I found that when you picked up the piece of slice that it bent a little bit because the cookie was kind of soft. But overall, I was happy with the results. So Easter cookie pizza, give it a try. If you haven't seen my Easter egg pinata cookie video, go ahead and click on the video right on your screen or in the link in the description box. Thanks for watching.